Hi peeps. Right. Well, lots of uh, the Z axis will be yeah, will be dependent upon your Dremel. I mean, you might have a, a, sh a short drill type Dremel. You might have a like a hobbyist Dremel, which is only about six inches long. Or you might have something like this, or even bigger. Uh, depends on whatever you're going to use. But what I'm going to do, I've done a, a rough drawing here, which uh, I'll show you in a minute. But the way I'm doing it is, I'm, where's my square, there it is. And if I put my square there, which will give me a rough guide, I want to go half an inch more. So that I'm half an inch into um, the table, the, the base rather, uh, which means that the table is going to be up here somewhere. So what I want to do is I want to measure from, oh no, let's try to measure from the bottom. That's roughly ten and a half inches. Okay. Now. The Dremel wants to be able to come almost all the way down to the table. Now, the table is approximately you know, 50 millimetres off the base, which is uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight and a quarter. Oops, there we go, eight and a quarter. So we can bring that down to the collet at the eight and a quarter. That will then give us off of there a measurement that we can call eleven and a half. Right. So this bit here that's not the final um, I just wrote that in so I know how much I've got on the um, Dremel fixing on the, the bottom of the Dremel on the, off the bottom of the Z axis to the table is approximately six, what did I say it was? Oops. Got to excuse me, I've got a stinking head cold. Um, Right, from the bottom of there, about eight and a quarter, so if we say from there, that's, so if we said nine and a half, that would give us a lot better, so scrub that out and say nine and a half. Inches. Okay, so we now know that, <coughs> excuse me, that there is going to be nine and a half inches. So from there, there are nine and a half inches. That's basically going to be the bottom of the Z axis. All right. Uh, sorry, not the set axis, the, the treble. So if we, uh, I suppose we better draw the dremel in, haven't we? Otherwise we're going to get confused. So that's the dremel carrier there. So if we say we want the dremel carrier to be Yeah, um, we're going to get away with five inches. We don't want any more than that. Right, so the Dremel carrier is going to be five inches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work our way measuring wise that way. So we know that that carrier is going to be five inches. 
we know that when it's at the bottom, pardon me, that the um, collet of the Dremel will be on the table. Um, I'm going to get myself in a mucking puddle if I ain't careful. Okay, let, let's carry on with this. So, we know that's 18 mil. Which is about 3 quarters of an inch. So if we call that 3 quarters of an inch. That means that that one can go right on the bottom of our Z-axis. Okay. So that's going to be five and three, uh, five and three quarters to the top of the Dremel carrier. So if the Dremel carrier is five inches, and we're going to be um, eight and a quarter. Carrier is going to be so we need to bring the um, Dremel right up. Hang on a tick, I'm going to switch you off while I uh, work.